Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. Just uh, going to show you guys how the toolbox has turned out after the first box two coats. Well, it wasn't really two coats of rust inhibitor. I had three quarters of a can left. Um, so I was able to do all four boxes, which I was super stoked about, super happy. Um, I was able to remove all the stuff inside though um where the hell am I getting this stuff from anyways um I'll probably when I flip the box over anyways this right here there's like a rubber I don't know it's like coated rubber on there so I'm just gonna cut a rubber mat and put it down at the bottom of this I don't like the way it looks this is the one that's cancered out so just these two corners are bad but like I said this is actually going this whole box is going on top of the uh, headache rack but anyways, um, like I said, we bought these boxes for 200 on on Facebook Marketplace and had a guy, Jason, that does our stuff. Sam Blasting for 400 He tried to get me for $800 to do these boxes. I said, dude, you're crazy. Anyways, he did it for 400 But I even did the bottoms because um, I didn't think I was going to have enough. I literally thought that three quarters of the can that we had left over from, from the rust inhibitor. And if you're gonna do this, these boxes were super bad before we had them sandblasted. Um, don't, don't try, if you have a super, super, super rusty box that's like way far gone, don't try to just take a sandpaper to it and, and try to sand it. Um, you, you won't you're going to end up spinning your wheels on it. So do the right thing and, and have them sandblasted. Like I said, they're rough, but I'm not not really too worried about it. I mean, they're, they're going to serve their purpose. Like I said, the, the four-foot boxes, the two four-footers and a three-footer and the two-footer on the other side there, these four-footers are like 500 and some dollars, brand new. Like, and with tax, probably $600 a piece. That's crazy. Because they're the they're the thick gauge steel, um, and then the three footers probably four something, and the two footers like two something. So, I mean, probably I'd have to say it's probably sixteen hundred dollars in boxes, if around sixteen to seventeen hundred dollars in four boxes. So, two hundred to purchase, four hundred to sandblast. So that's six hundred. I got literally probably three hour, uh, probably four hours. Um, doing the uh, the rust inhibitor, and I just rolled it on, so there's a little bit of a film on it, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna. I already put one coat of spray paint on them, um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put two coats of. So I got I have one coat of rust inhibitor. Now the stuff we use, you can go to a, an auto mechanic body shop, and you can buy it. It's a red. I, I don't know the name of the stuff. I, I I looked on the can, but the label was ripped off. But it's like 130, 140 bucks a gallon. And this is the only thing that we use on our chassis, on the trucks. That the, we run all aluminum Bensons, but the ass ends are steel, so, and the landing gear. So, um, man, I, I don't have any problems with, this, with rust coming back after I coat this stuff out. So, anyways, I did uh, one coat all the way around them, and then I two coated the fronts of the doors because they're gonna get obviously some abuse with opening and closing them. And then I, I did one coat of a, uh, of a black uh, high gloss, and then I'll do another coat. Once I mount them, then I'll find out what's exposed, what's not exposed, and then I'm gonna hit them all once they're mounted. So I decided I'm gonna actually use all four of these boxes on my equipment. So I'm actually gonna, this one's gonna be on the top, and I'm gonna silicone all these bolted holes. I don't know, man, I'm, how many how many bolts do you need? <laughs> That's crazy. Anyways, um, so I'm just going to run silicone inside here, and then once it hardens, I'm going to cut it with a razor blade and then go over it with a with an acrylic caulk that can be painted over. Um, and I was going to use Bondo, but as much as truck shake, that Bondo is probably just going to crack So because it's so thin. So I'm, I'm actually going to use um, latex caulk, believe it or not.
Um, and it, like I said, they don't have to be perfect. They're, they're going to serve their purpose. But anyways, I'm taking all this stuff off. Um, and these, these two chains here can whatever. But that, that's not important to the video. So anyways, um, this is part two of... I'll, I'll, I'm probably going to take a 400 grit and just run over it real quick after I mount them. Because I'm sure I'm once I get them up on my headache rack, I'm probably going to end up dinging them up a little bit. So I am going to go over this with a 400 real quick. I wanted to go, I wanted to do the, um, the, the, the black high gloss over the rust inhibitor and then sand it. And the reason being is I didn't want to sand off the rust inhibitor because obviously that kind of defeats the purpose of putting it on. I didn't think that the... Um, Got a few little runs too. Uh, anyways, um, I rolled it on with a with a really light roller, one of those. Uh, it's like a really fine nap roller. But I think there was a bunch of stuff inside the old gallon of rust inhibitor, so I'm not happy with that. Um, I guess if you're gonna do it, do it right. But next step is I'm gonna mount these tomorrow <clears throat> on my headache rack, and then I'll be able to find out what is exposed and I'll be able to caulk everything up and silicone everything up and uh, like I said I'll, I'll go over them tomorrow morning real quick with the 400 grit uh, obviously not the backs or anything but anyways I just want to show you guys what you can do probably I'll, I'll probably have probably 10 hours into the whole project and that's with mounting them and every I mean I can't really count the mounting for the purchase of the boxes because obviously they're not I'm <laughs> they have to be mounted so I'd probably say I have I'll have prob probably 10 hours and and that's 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 pretty uh pretty high I think I'll probably between between 8 and 10 hours for labor on these boxes um, for, you know, rust inhibiting and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what, probably 30 bucks an hour is what I'd probably pay a contractor to do these. So, at, uh, we'll just call it 300 bucks. So, with the 600 or two to purchase, the four to, uh, to sandblast, and then 300 to do them, I already had the material. The material, really, I can't count because I really thought it was just going to go in the garbage. But I saved it anyways. So we had it left over from a trailer, so I'm not really gonna count the material on it because I have a bunch of leftover bolts here. I had the leftover material, I got a shit ton of sandpaper and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna count any, any material on it. So, but probably, so we got 200, 400, and then another 300, that's 900 bucks. So I'm saving myself probably six, 700 bucks, I guess. I don't know, is it worth it? I don't know, so. But I'm gonna mount the three footer on my trailer and that's those bars laying up against that trailer right there. I'll show you guys how I did that. My next project is I'm painting up the whole entire. When I painted this truck, we used a really cheap black paint. So I gotta paint the visor, paint, redo all the black. And then my rims are all done. I'm gonna do a video at, right after this one on how to prep out your rims and all that kind of stuff. So. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys on the toolboxes. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.